All right. We are going to recreate, excuse me, create a report um, for overdues sent by um, Homeroom that you can print up and send to your teachers. Um, so you're going to open up Destiny. You're going to click on Report. You're going to click on Patron Reports. You're going to click on Current Checkouts and Finds. Um, and you're going to skip the saved reports up above and you are going to go down to the bottom where you set up a new report or notice. It's in very small letters but this is where you set up any new report that's not saved. Um, you want checked out overdue materials and you want all that are currently overdue. You are going to skip all that are checked out. That is only for the end of the year. And you're going to uncheck resources assigned to custodian but you're going to leave unpaid library fines, unpaid resource fines, and unpaid patron fines. You're going to choose the format for your report. This is a printed report, so you can have it printed in a PDF or in an Excel. I'm scared of Excel, so I'm going to do PDF. I'm going to hit continue. Here's where I'm going to limit um, who, is going, who I am actually reporting on. So for patron types, I'm going to click on Update. I'm going to hit Clear All. And I'm just going to choose the students at my school, 9, 10, 11, and 12, and staff. And I'm going to click OK. So now I can see who I am getting reports on. Um, I'm not going to worry about patrons of other sites for right now. These are active students. I want all circulation types. When I click on update, I look one day, 90 days, regular, yes. I want all of those things, so I'm going to hit OK. Um, resources, all resource types, I'm going to click update. There is a million things. I don't want all of those things, so I'm going to clear all. And since my students are in high school, I'm just going to choose resources, textbooks, and our favorite, if I can find them, Chromebooks. And I'm going to skip all the way down to the bottom and click on OK. So now I have chosen all library materials, textbooks, Chromebooks, and materials my patrons are responsible for from another site. I'm going to include that as well. And I'm going to hit Continue. I'm going to run these reports by Homeroom. So I'm going to choose homeroom and then I'm going to choose all of the homerooms so I'm going to choose April Van Winkle as the top and I'm going to choose Thomas Lathrop and I want to start a new page for each group so I can hand them out to my teachers. I would like to see the title of the library materials and the price I would like a subtotal and fine for each patron, and I would like to see grade level and homeroom, because why not? I can hit run report without saving it, or I can hit save. I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to call it something as specific as possible. I'm going to call it overdues by homeroom printed. I'm not going to schedule it. I'm going to hit save and run. I'm going to click on that. It says pending. I'm going to hit refresh. It's completed. So now I'm going to hit view. And now I can see 65 pages by homeroom which students have which materials that are overdue. I can also see this report by going to back office going to Job Manager and seeing Overdues by Homeroom, there it is, and I can again click on View and see my PDF. And there you are.